in sixth problem they said that triangle xyz is right angled at y and yz is equals to x and xy is equals to 2x then we have to find the value of angle x and angle z so first of all for solving this problem we will consider some different values so we have to take let us take x y is equals to small x and x z is equals to 2x they have given the this values but we to get a correct answer which is given in the reader we have to take these values next let us solve this x y is x x y is x and x z is 2x the next for finding the angle x for finding this angle we have to consider this and that but we should know these three values opposite adjacent and hypotenuse for finding those values we know that according to pythagoras theorem we get hypotenuse square is equals to opposite square plus adjacent square so what is hypotenuse that is x z whole square opposite is y z whole square plus adjacent is x y whole square x z we know this it is 2 x square y z we don't know this value y z whole square plus x y is small x whole square 2 square is 4 x square z equals to y z whole square plus x square send this x square to that side it will become 4 x square minus x square is equals to y z whole square when we remove this 1 x square from 4 x we get 3 x square is equals to y z whole square now when this square goes to that side it will become the root 3 and square root will get cancelled we get y z so therefore y z is equals to root 3 x then next for finding the angles angle x we can take opposite by adjacent so where do we get that opposite by adjacent take or else we will directly take tan x tan x opposite is y z by adjacent is x y the next y z is root 3 x root 3 x by x y is small x so this x and this x get cancelled so we get tan x is equals to root 3 that is when do we get root 3 when the tan is 60 degrees so therefore angle z x y or y x z y x z is 60 degrees the next for fi finding this angle we can take opposite by adjacent or else we can take adjacent by hypotenuse or else opposite by adjacent we can take any in any situations so like let, let us take this one opposite by hypotenuse so where do we get that sine z is equals to opposite is y x by x z sin z is equals to y x is x and x z is 2 x x 1 za x 1 za it is 1 by 2 sin z so when do we get sin z sin theta is equals to 1 by 2 when it is 30 degrees so we get on 30 degrees so therefore the angle yzx 
is 30 degrees. In seventh problem, it is asked that is it right to say that sine a plus b is equals to sine a plus sine b? Justify your answer. So we have to check whether when we solve this and LHS or RHS, do we get the equal answer? So let us find out. For finding that, we have to take or let a value be 60 degrees and b is equals to 30 degrees. Now take LHS. What is LHS? Sin a plus b. So we get sin 60 degrees plus 30 degrees. That is sin 90. Sin 90 value is 1. Next, let us take RHS. Sin A plus sin B. Sin A is 60 degrees plus sin B is 30 degrees. Sin 60 is root 3 by 2. Sin 30 is 1 by 2. The LCM of 2 and 2 is 2. Root 3 plus 1. So root 3 plus 1. Since these two values are not equal, since 1 is not equals to root 3 plus 1 by 2, therefore LHS is not equals to RHS. Therefore, it is not right to say that sin a plus b is equals to sin a plus sin b.